So when you first get a radio, you'll read the radio, and then you'll get a code plug. Let's open up the code plug. All right, it opens up to this screen. First thing you need to do is the Motorola key generator. You can find it in Google. Once you get that done, you go to Tools, Load Software Keys. Then you go to wherever you're, you put the key. So I'm going to pick my key. Open up. All right, now we got the key loaded here. Uh, there's really nothing you need to change here on this screen, except for you can add the code plug name. Like if you're doing different code plugs for different systems, you can put it right here. Radio wide menu here. Just copy what I got. I don't think we changed anything here. There you go. Now, if you want to program your radio via Bluetooth, Bluetooth enabled, change this to LFMPP and standard. And then, uh, you can change this to such and such radio so you can find it from when you're trying to add it to your computer. Alright, we don't need to mess with anything here. Alright, let's go to conventional configuration, then go to conventional system. Alright, then what you want to do is add one, then I'll open up to this screen. So copy all this. This is the basic stuff you need. Alright, let's close that. Conventional personality, right click add. You'll open one up. And then you can choose. So this is it's gonna be like a scan list name. So these are fire attack channels I have, so fire attack fire attack all. Then just you know, copy all these. Uh, right here, change it to whatever you put. I got fire attack all. And then you'll choose these here. There's going to be an option down here for a scan list. We'll get back to that. Alright. Nothing else here we need to change. Just make sure they all match. Alright. Now let's go to trunking configuration. Let's go to trunking wide since that's the first option. Uh, I didn't, we didn't change anything here. Alright. Trunking system. Right click. Add. Now it's going to open a trunking system. You won't be able to edit some of this stuff without a key. This is where you need to open up uh, radio reference. So let's open radio reference here. So this is for a county in Texas. So right here is the main stuff you need. That and your control channels. So system ID will go here. So always change the one on the right. So put your system ID there, your uh, WACN ID right here. Usually they're, they're all BEE00. Alright. Oh, I forgot. Let me, let me move this over. Alright, let's go back here. Let's redo this. System ID here. Alright. Then the BE00 or whatever yours is there. That's the home ID, system ID. Uh, leave these the same. Now, unit ID right here. Let me go ahead and close radio reference real quick. Alright. Unit ID, you need to make a random one. This is what tells the dispatcher what unit is calling from the radio. Alright. Now, control channel is right here. So in radio reference, let me get back to radio reference. Let me drag this back over here. Some uh let's see. I got so many windows open here. Alright. These are in green, some are in red. But you want to look for the ones that say C next to them. And this one's got, you know, like 20 different sites. So, but we're just going to add whatever you got here. So, the, only the control channels. So, you put them here in this area where it says control channels. Of course, radio reference is blocking again. Alright, there we go. So, this 
So you want to put them where in the control channel area, right here. These. Now, this part here is for phase two. It's a channel spacing, and uh, you can set it up like this and try to use some of these frequencies. It might work, it might not, but uh, this is where you'll need like a SDR and Unitrunker and all that to figure out what the base frequencies they're using. If I find a way to figure this out easily, I'll link a description in the video. Alright, there's not much more to talk about this part here. Alright, let's go down. Uh, just, you know, copy these settings here. There's not much we're going to change other than what's at the top. Now right here, make sure this is unchecked. You don't want this. Alright. Then, you know, leave the rest like it is. Then leave the rest. We don't change anything down here. Alright. Now let's move to trucking personality. You want to click add. And then it brings it up to here. Oh, hold on. Let's go back here. Trunking system. No wait, personality. Yeah, or on the right. On the personality. Once you open it back up. All right. So, again, name personality. You'll choose the system that you made. Protocol is that one. Make sure all these are the same. Now this one right here, you gotta double check. You want it disabled. You do not want to transmit. That's what makes this these doing this is illegal if you can transmit with them. You don't want to. All right. Now on the conventional personality, if we go back here, did I even make the conventional personality? I think I did show you all that. There's a receive only. Yeah, right here. Make sure you check receive only. All right. Now let's go back down on a trunking personality. All right. Disabled. We want that disabled. Now here's where all the hard work comes in at here. Enter all the talk groups you want to receive with this radio. All of them. Right here. If you got 30 channels you want to add, you can click enter 30, then hit the plus, oh, yeah, the plus button. Alright. And then it's going to fill out. Then you do the talk group name. Again, right side, the hex number. And then you do all that. And then copy all the settings again. Okay, and what's good about why I'm doing this video is I couldn't find a video like this for APX. APX. APX, yes. I was thinking of that game, Apex Legends. Alright, we don't need to do anything with the call list. Alright, let's go to Zone Channel Assignment. Right click Add. I'll bring up this. This is where the important stuff happens. So again, you do your zone name. You can do whatever you name it, whatever you want. But like this is where all the magic happens, right here. So the first 16 channels are going to be parked on a conventional. So if you see how I have it here, scan all, this is where I have everything I want to listen to all in one scan channel. The next one is just fire attack channels. All 16 of these need to be conventional. Have to be. Then you'll choose your personality. Since I have two, you won't, you'll only have one for now. So you'll choose the personality you made out of the uh, selector here. Same with this one. All right, first 16 is the same way. After you make one, you can actually right-click here, fill down, and it'll drop all these the same. All right, and then 17 and beyond. 17 and beyond are where you're going to do the trunking channels. So again, channel name, then if you have a 5,000, I think 6,000 and above radio, you have the top display you can put on there. You'll have the top display here, and these need to be trunk, so choose trunking, trunk, and then you'll choose your trunking personality, which was for mine, loud. And then it will, then over here you'll choose what channel name you want out of those lists you made, see? You'll do that for the rest of them. Alright? 
And then that's it on this page. And then I think here you can add announcement. Yeah, right here. I don't know how to do that, so. But this is where you want, if you change to this zone, it'll say, you know, these, they're already here. Zone 1, Zone 2, Channel 2. It'll talk, okay? Alright, now scan configuration. Let's go to scan wide. I don't think there's anything here we need to change. Scan list, right click add. It'll bring up a scan list. So like this one, let's go to fire tech. This one's a bit better. Alright, this one says fire tech all. Uh, some can have priority and some can't. I'm not sure, but you can choose multi-system talk group. Some of them can't do priority, so. Uh, and then non-members non-priority mem non members operator selectable that where, that's where on the radio you can add and remove uh, channels from the scan list so you don't have to come in here and program it every time so down here you want to choose your zone which is zone 2 for me then you want to choose your channels you want in this scan list alright so these right here are the fire and then that's it for that uh, I don't think there's anything else we need after you do that, then you know, uh, right to your radio, and try it out. Uh, if it doesn't work, if you need help, message in the comments. I know there's going to be other people that are going to, this ain't the way you do it, this is the way you do it. Please comment on different things on how we can do this to make it different. This is the way I was taught, this is the way uh, I was shown, and it works. And it works for the XTS as well. I'm going to make another video on the XTS 5000. Uh, that's a phase one radio, which some counties still use. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching. It's 5000R. But it's going to sort of work the same way on the APX. But as far as when I was telling you that you can select your scan list. Hold on, they're talking. They're still en route to the area. They have not been able to locate it. So you go scan. This will go through all the channels in your scan list. Little Z means you're scanning. Then you can select. If you go, you click the buttons. See how I have NA? I don't know, I got nothing there. Then if you hit delete, you remove the little Z at the top. And that takes it out. And then you can add it back. Take it out, add it back. And this is going through the scan list. Alright.